Hello guys, so uh, today we're going to be installing Arduino on Linux for working with WCH MCUs. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go on the Arduino web page and you need to download the Arduino app. Uh, in this case, I'm going to download the zip file version of Arduino. And as you can see on the top right corner, uh, we are now downloading Arduino IDE 2.2. Make sure to download uh, the latest stable release of Arduino uh, because if you download the lower versions they might not be compatible with uh, some of the newest updates from WCH so at least Arduino 2 or Arduino IDE 2 definitely do not recommend Arduino IDE 1 so make sure you go to the website and you download uh, and then after downloading uh, we are going to be uh, installing the next step. So this is our downloaded file and then we are going to extract it. And uh, when we open it, we can see uh, this is the entire self-contained application inside. Okay, now uh, if we open our browser, uh, we now need to get uh, a rough view of the WCH Arduino implementation and we do this by going to WCH's GitHub web page. Uh, in particular, the repository we are looking for is the WCH uh, Arduino core. So uh, we're going to search uh, WCH Arduino. And then we get access to the WCH Arduino core repository. So this is the one which contains all the support for the RISC 5 MCU boards and uh, also uh, an installation guide and how to use. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get the URL for additional board manager. So this will link uh, the Arduino IDE to WCH boards and also to index the files needed to operate on WCH. So Okay, so now we're going to open uh, in terminal and we're going to uh, run the main executable for Arduino IDE, which is the Arduino IDE itself. And upon running uh, the Arduino IDE, we now need to copy this link for additional board manager. Okay, so this is Arduino version 2 IDE 2. Uh, and as you can see on first deployment, it will download some additional packages as well uh, so we'll just give it some time to finish setting up and uh, meanwhile we're going to be uh, browsing the generic structure of the IDE you can get this from the uh, Arduino docs and uh, you can also get information on how to better work with the IDE so now that it's finished installing some of the first packages uh, we're going to start to we're going to go to preferences and inside preferences we're going to uh, use the additional board manager url and we're going to insert a um, uh, wch link for uh, wch boards Okay, now that the board uh, is done, upon completing this, the system should auto-update and should begin. Yeah, as you can see in the bottom right corner, it is now downloading all the packages necessary in order for you to work with WCH MCUs. So after this, the next step, uh, after this, the next step would be uh, to double check. Uh, as you can see, the board manager is in. Now, after this, the next step is to now go to uh, to add the WCH boards so that we can select them. And uh, we're going to do this by going over to the board manager and we are going to be searching for WCH. And we can see the CH32MCU EVT boards and make sure to install the latest version in order to guarantee support for all the boards. And it will begin downloading and processing uh, all the tools necessary for working with WCH chips like the RISC, like the WCH RISC V core embedded GCC compiler and all the necessary tools for WCH. But now if we go to our website 
uh, we can now uh, check the ins the instructions for working with uh, Linux, and also we can now look at the pin structure. So uh, we're working with. I will be using the CH32 V307 board, and uh, we're going to be you choosing. Uh, and you can open this repository to access pin information and uh, get a better overview of how Arduino, of how the Arduino was being designed to match uh, WCH32. So in this case, the file I'm looking for is the pinout layer, so that you is the pinout configuration so that you can know how each pin has been modeled. So yeah, this is the one. So we now have the, we can use the pinout array to make sure that we can now begin programming our Arduino board. So these are all the pinouts and uh, the pin instructions as well. Okay. Uh, after, after, after installing, uh, we can see from the output that it has finished. Uh, and the platform for WCH has been installed. The next thing is we're going to run a simple program, uh, and that is we're going to blink the LED. So uh, we just need to know the which pin to use, and then we will uh, and then we'll initialize a GPO on that pin and turn the LED on and off. So uh, we're going to go back to our GitHub repository. And then we are going to see if what pin uh, we are going to use. So uh, uh, we're simply going to define the pin at the top here. And then we're going to look at the pin number on the WCH risk 5 uh, on the WCH uh, GitHub page. So if we look at the pin here, we are going to use PA0. Uh, and then we are simply going to rename that in our uh, repository. Now, before we compile, if we go back to the WCH page, uh, we can see that uh, there were also instructions as well for what to do with uh, for what to do with Linux. So, if you see the instructions uh, for Linux after installing the support package for the first time to ensure no more upload function, please open packages installation path of Arduino IDE and run the script and automatically configure the environment. So this is the script. Uh, there's a start script uh, in the before install folder for WCH in Arduino. So we need to make sure that we run this script so that uh, the Arduino IDE can access all the tools it needs. So in order to do this, I'm going to open my terminal. And then I'm going to find the location stated in the Linux uh, installation folder. So the location should be Arduino 15 packages uh, WCH tools. Okay, so uh, I want to show you what's inside that folder so you have a better understanding of what's uh, really happening. So in tools and before install, uh, and it should be version 1.00. So this is the final location. And uh, if we list everything that's there, you can see that they have uh, libUSB libraries and uh, some extra libraries and also open OCD and WCH rules. So this will ensure that uh, all functions of Arduino work normally and libraries will know where to point. So we just need to run the bash script uh, start.sh and then after that we can begin to use Arduino. Okay, so this uh, will require elevated permissions, but once you enter the password, uh, you can see it, uh, it highlights here, it has registered new libraries and copied them and they are now 
uh, operating successfully. So that means that our Arduino board can now properly reference these libraries and so uh, there should be no conflicts or whatsoever. So if we now go back to Arduino and try to compile this program, uh, it should work perfectly now. Oh yeah, uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to plug in our development board. I'm using CH32V307 and also uh, we need to select which board and the COM port. So now the COM port is reflecting here and for boards we'll just search WCH uh, 30X, that's the board uh, I'm using. And then we're going to verify. As we can see from output, uh, everything is working as normal and uh, our program is functioning and it's ready to be written on our MCU, the 307. So the next part with everything working successfully is to upload our code onto our MCU and to flash our Arduino board. Uh, we can upload this code and to see if everything is working as usual. Uh, and as you can see from the output, uh, the program has finished flashing. And uh, as you can see from the video, the GPIO is blinking. So uh, that's it for working with WCH and Arduino on Linux. Thank you all and uh, have a good day.